Hi there, this time I've got three things to say to you. Windows 10 deployment, autopilot, Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Are you ready? Let's go. Hi there, Andy Malone. Welcome back to the channel, Microsoft MVP and Microsoft Certified Trainer. You know, if somebody said to you, let's do some software deployment or do some traditional Windows deployment, it would put the fear of God into most people. We're talking about text files, answer files. Oh, it was a complete nightmare. Um, if you wanted to spend some money, you would use traditional tools like System Center Configuration Manager, which made the job a little bit easier. But now life in the cloud is getting even easier with Microsoft Endpoint Manager and Microsoft Intune, of course. So this time on this episode, we're going to take a look at how we can deploy Windows 10 using Endpoint Manager and a very cool tool called Autopilot. So without further ado, let's take a look. So our first place to start is, of course, in Microsoft 365. And I'm going to go into licenses and I'm going to grant this user an EMS, Enterprise Mobility and Security, as well as a Microsoft E5 license. And this will give the user the capabilities that we need. Please note here that if you're a small business, you can also get this capability with the business uh, premium, the Microsoft 365 business premium account as well. So from that, I'm going to go and switch over into Azure Active Directory. And I'm going to create a new group here. And um, this is going to be a dynamic security group. So I'm going to click on new group. And um, just to say that it has to be a security group because you can only create a dynamic device with a security group. You can create dynamic users with both the 365 and a security group. But for the purposes of what I'm trying to do here, I'm going to call this IT devices and it's going to be a dynamic device. OK. <coughs> Excuse me. OK, so now that I've done that, I now need to put the obviously the rule in. So I'm going to click on the add query. And uh, as they used to say on a famous TV show when I was a child, here's one I prepared earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and click on edit and I'm going to go ahead and paste this rule in. So basically what this is, it's basically saying, hey, if my user is running a Windows 10 or it uses this device ID. OK, so if the device ID is this, then it's going to deploy with autopilot. So as I say, this is just a very, very simple rule. So if the device ID contains this rule, then go ahead and uh, enforce this. So uh, I'm going to click on create. And that is the group cr uh, created now. OK, and of course, um, if I go into my devices, um, obviously in devices, I will have a device with that uh, specific ID. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over into PowerShell and I'm going to obviously create uh, a little setup script. So I'm going to go into here, um, into PowerShell, and I'm going to uh, install or get the details uh, of the device. So I'm going to build out the device. So it's like a little template here. And um, if you want to find all of these steps, by the way, docs.microsoft.com is the way to do it. Um, or of course, you could always pause the video and, and go through it yourself. So yeah, so I'm creating my device, setting up my device policy. And this will create my device a template that I've I want to use. You can see it's it's a CSV file that I've gone ahead and created. And I can go ahead and I can have a look at that file if I want to. Although to be fair in PowerShell it doesn't really look that much. But if you opened it up in let's say Excel, it would give you a bit more detail. Okay. 
So the details about the machine, the options and so on. So now that I've done that, I'm going to flip over now. I'm going to come into 365 and I'm going to go into Endpoint Manager. And the first place to go, of course, is Devices. And you want to obviously think about how can I enroll uh, these devices in. Um, so the first things first, um, of course, I need to enroll the devices. And you can do this in a number of ways. Um, if you've got um, iOS and Android devices, you can automate the setup here. Uh, I'm using a, a Windows 10. So two elements of this, I can create a profile and I can also add the device as well. So the first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll arrange for the device to come in and then I'll go ahead and create the profile. So first up then, uh, I want to add this device in and I can go ahead and I can uh, bring the device in. I can import this CSV file that I've created and again, select the file. So this is just a, an autopilot device. Here's my CSV file that I created and just click on open. Okay, and then I'll click on import. You can see it's saying that it's correctly formatted, so that's fine. Okay, so you can see that the device will come in in a second. There it is, okay. So um, Windows 10, um, it's not assigned uh, to any particular user at the moment. You've got a unique serial number there. So the next step is I go back into Enroll Devices, and this time I want to go ahead and create a profile. Now, when you create a profile, it's obviously what are the details of the profile and which users or devices are you going to deploy that profile to. So I'm going to create this profile. I'll just call it a datum profile just now. And then it says, OK, uh, what do you want me to do? Um, obviously, I'm going to uh, deploy autopilot. And you can see there's loads of different options here. And I'm really just going through. Um, it can be user driven or it can be automated if you want to. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to say it's user driven and I want the, use, the device to join our organization. So there's various options that I can show with privacy settings, desktop settings. Um, I can put in certain restrictions and things like that if I want to. Um, I can say which, what type of user. Again, for the purpose of the demo, I'm choosing administrator, but it could just be as easy as a, as a standard user as well. Um, then you've got your language, uh, different language options, of course. You can choose your, your language, and you can also choose the, the uh, actual operating system itself. The minimum requirements here, of course, are Windows 10. So it's a Windows 10 feature. This Windows 10 Pro is the minimum here. Okay. Um, do you want to configure the keyboard settings and, and so on? So you've got all of these settings that you could do. I'm just, for the again, for the purpose of the demo, I'll just keep it simple. So now that I've created this, I'm going to go ahead and add a group. So what group do I want to deploy this? So you've got an include and an exclude option. So you can include everyone and then exclude them. And of course, this one, it's the IT devices group. Yeah. So I'm going to click on select and I'm going to bring that IT device group in and then click on next. Okay, so you created the profile, you've assigned the profile, and again, you now get a nice overview of everything here. It just gives you a detail about what's included in that. Okay, there we go. So we've added the device, you've set up the profile, and we're now obviously ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over to um, my other machine. This is a, a, a desktop machine, and I'm going to choose a Windows reset here. So on this machine, um, this is obviously the target machine. So I'm just going to do a complete reset. Now, just be warned, this can take some time. For the purpose of our sanity, you'll be glad to know I've sped this up uh, quite a bit. 
So obviously you might want to back up any important files and this will just basically bring the system back to a default. So you can uh, choose to restore, uh, keep your files or just uh, remove everything. Again, for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to choose to uh, keep my files. Okay, so uh, this will now start. Uh, it will take quite a while. I can, uh, I'll just warn you in advance. It does on a virtual machine anyway. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and this will now, um, off it goes. You can go for lunch, come back, and uh, it, it should be done. So we're going to get things ready. Um, again, takes just does all of its cleaning, all of its wiping off, uh, and then it will go off and do a, a reboot. And it, what it does, it does several reboots here. Okay. Now, the key thing to note is when you reset the PC, um, it will then when it restarts, it will look for a profile. And obviously, because you're on a corporate network, you're in Microsoft 365, it will then say, hey, okay, I want to uh, get that uh, profile. Okay, so several, <laughs> several days, I'm just joking. Uh, a, a little time later, um, it will reset the PC. And I can tell you, it definitely doesn't go this fast in reality. Okay, so off it goes, reboots the machine. And when the machine reboots, of course, it's pre-configured with our profile settings, what we need the user to do, all right, which you'll see in just a second. So here we go. Now, this particular virtual machine, I'm in the UK, so I'll go ahead and I'll select the UK option. So make sure that your region is correct. Obviously, make sure you've got the appropriate keyboard. And of course, yep, yeah, keyboard, language, all of those things. Okay, and then click on yes. This looks good. You can also add an additional keyboard as well. I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to click on skip for now. Okay, so off it goes. And again, it's doing some important setting up. So it's reading the profile. And you can see it's already joined our um, Microsoft 365 or Azure Active Directory organization. So I'm here's my user account. I'm logging in as that user. And I'm going to click on next. So you don't need to do a domain join. It's already done for you. And um, it's asking me to put in my password. Now, because of the security policy that I've got set up in my organization, I'm also using multi-factor authentication. It can reduce hacking by 99%. Okay. So seriously consider setting this up. So the second part here is it will just say, hey, you know, I need a little bit more information from you and you'll need a mobile device here. You can download um, the um, Microsoft um, multi-factor authentication app. It's a free download that you can uh, set up the Microsoft Authenticator rather, I should say. So you download that machine reboots. And it then says, hey, OK, um, I just need to uh, set one more thing up. Now, if you have Windows Hello, so if you're using Windows 10, you want to use facial recognition and iris recognition and all of that, you can see here it's now saying, hey, OK, I need some more information from you um, that your company has requested. OK, so I'll say next. And um, I'm going to set up uh, Windows Hello here. So first of all, you download the Microsoft Authenticator and you say, yep, OK, that's fine. I've gone ahead and done that. And now what it will do is it will show you a QR code. You take a picture of the QR code and 
um, then it will say, hey, okay, do you have the number? And you just approve it on the Authenticator app, okay? So once you've approved it, um, yep, so I've done that. So you see it says approve the notification. So I would go ahead and approve that on the app. And once it's approved, yay, the green light lights up and I click on next. Okay. So it will maybe also ask you if you want to set up a pin uh, for the uh, for your Windows 10 device. Um, you can also set up other features as well. I've just chose a pin because this is a virtual machine, but of course you can choose biometrics as well. Okay, so I'll go ahead, set up a pin. Um, again, I do recommend the minimum of six characters uh, rather than just four. So you want to make it as uh, as easy as and as secure as possible. So off it goes. And that's it. You're all set. So click OK. And you can see that's it. We're in. So this is my corporate desktop. Um, and again, I can... All, everything that I need is here. So any restrictions, any settings that I had uh, set up are here. So for example, if I go into settings, the gaming option is removed. Um, if I go into the accounts, you can see that it's already set up with my user account. So access school and work account, everything is there. All right. And any apps that I would have obviously had access to, uh, you could uh, get access to as well. The other thing is, of course, when you go into Microsoft 365, um, it's already configured. Now here back in Endpoint Manager, you can see that that machine is now being monitored. It says it's not compliance, probably because I'm, I need to maybe do an update because this is a just a VM. But you can see the fact is it's now being managed by Intune and there you go, there you have it. So again, very cool. There you have it, deploying Windows 10 with Autopilot in Endpoint Manager. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, go ahead, click on that subscribe button, ring that bell so that you don't miss future postings. And of course, as always, please put your questions and comments in the link below. I really appreciate it. Until next time, you stay safe. See you soon. Thanks so much for dropping by. Remember you can visit me at andymalone.org and go ahead and click on that subscribe button so that you don't miss a thing. I'll see you next time.